Children's Republic, written by Ottawa native Hannah Moskowitz, is inspired by the life of Janusz Korczak, the renowned Polish writer, radio personality, educator, and pediatric doctor who lived and died serving children. Dr. Korczak was a Jew in Warsaw during the Second World War and tried valiantly to improve the lives of many Jewish children under his care. Janusz Korczak believed passionately that children should be treated like the intelligent and responsible individuals he knew them to be. And, and his orphanages became home to countless children between the ages of 7 and 14. These scenes from the play give us a sense of what might have happened to some of Ch Korchok's children. Don't you cry for food, your mother's gone to get you some. Don't you cry for food, your mother's gone to get you some. When she comes back, she'll give you butter from a bowl and sausage from a spoon and crumbs from a cup. And when she comes back, she'll give you nothing instead. Then rip off your head and straight to Warsaw she'll fly. Before she goes back to the sky. Where have you been? I've been sick. And they cut my hair. They said I had lice, but I think they were lying. <coughs> I fell out of bed. Stepha told me I've been yelling too. Where have you been? Where have you been, stupid? Stupid. Dr. Korczak believed so strongly in the rights of children that he established regular children's courts where students, teachers, and even Dr. Korczak himself would be tried for offenses against the community of the orphanage. saw it. What was in the drawing? Was it a drawing of her? No. No? You're certain? You saw the drawing then? Yes. What was it of? There was a man. He was in a blanket and he was throwing out blood into a bucket. There was blood on the floor. Do you know why she tore it up? No, I don't know why. Misha! Oh, she, I don't know. She likes him. She wanted him to show her the drawing. Thank you, Misha. You may step down. Carefully, please, watch the step. I am. I am. I would like to call Israel Eliasberg to the stand. <laughs> Israel, please tell the court who was in the drawing. Israel, who was in the drawing? My father. What happened to him? I don't know. He Threw up blood and then he was dead. And was the drawing of your father destroyed? Speak up. Yes! Thank you, Israel. You may step down. The Children's Court has reached a verdict. We find Madame Singer guilty of destroying the property of Israel Eliasberg. We will consult on sentencing and notify Madame Singer of the court's decision in writing. Court is dismissed until Tuesday at 7 p.m. <coughs> what you are about? 
about to hear is a letter written by Dr. Korczak to the, to the German officer who was in charge of Warsaw during the Nazi occupation of the city. He is fighting to keep the orphans and the orphanage from being forced into the Warsaw Ghetto, a walled city inside the city of Warsaw, in which Jews and other so-called undesirables were incarcerated. This is followed by a scene in which we see some of the young people reacting to the occupation of Warsaw. Dear Obergruppenführer Hans Frank, I write to you not as an author or pedagogue, but as the director of or the orphanage at 92 Krok Malna Street. During the current year, the German authorities have neither harmed nor troubled us. Nevertheless, we have suffered many deprivations and hardships. We have lived off donations and managed to make ends meet. In this year, 1942, our 28th year of communal living. The children have helped repair the windows shattered from the bombardments, and they have whitewashed the showers themselves. They have kept the orphanage so clean that there have been no contagious diseases that might necessitate placing the orphanage under quarantine. Fully trusting in your understanding, we request your support in allowing the children to remain in this building with which it would be so difficult for them to part. Respectfully yours, Janusz Korczak. and the orphans have been moved into the ghetto. There are severe food shortages. One of the orphans joins the resistance and makes forays out of the ghetto to find food for those inside. Children were used as they were small enough to burrow under the ghetto wall. Many died in the pursuit of food and sometimes weapons. I left the... Yeah. You... What's it left 
Chicago there, is it? Well, some of the buildings are torn down. But um, there's uh, trees, trees and birds. And people are, it's like how you remember it. Did you see anyone we know? No. Could they, no one looked at you? Were you scared? But are you, did you just go yourself or are you with the, you're with you the are? Don't say that to anyone. Can I come? Can I help? Can I come? How did you meet them? Did you just go up Can to them? we? Would they want us? Maybe. I'll ask. Can you ask them? Yeah. That was nice of him. Mm-hmm. Oh, shut up! Stop it! Don't he'll hear it! Stop it! It's not funny. It's serious. He's bringing us food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In 1940, the Germans began clearing out the ghetto. Thousands were being deported to death camps, concentration camps, and work camps. In August of that year, Korshak's orphanage was cleared. 200 orphans, along with a few teachers, were led by Janusz Korczak as he went, as he walked to the train station to board a train on the way to the camp at Treblinka. Korczak was offered several opportunities to escape deportation due to his fame and the influence of his many friends, but he chose to remain with the orphans. This is what we think he would have said on the train. I'd like to go on a walk. Or should we walk? Hmm? Warsaw. Oh yes, we could walk into Warsaw, I suppose. But no, I was thinking somewhere further than Warsaw. I was thinking we could walk to the sun. The sun? It will be a long walk, but I think we can do it. We'd sleep in fields and forests and earn money along the way. Israel, you'll throw stones at dogs that try to bite us. And Mitch will ask the birds if we're walking in the right direction. Henrik will pick berries for us and lead us to clean water. Vega will worry when we're tired. Misha will keep an eye out for bandits. And Stefa, she'll make sure everyone's walking in the right direction. And we'll walk and walk until we arrive at the sun. We'll know we're there because it will be very bright. What do you think? Would, Would you, you like, like to go, go to the, the sun? sun?